While I'm at it, I should check the Tycoon Meteor. Indeed. We might find some more clues on how to get a meteor working. I sort of forgot my, uh... <laughs> few things in the last few months. But far more importantly, there's a black choco. That must be mid and sitter here. And no, Sid is not where he's supposed to be. He doesn't like hanging out in a bunker. He likes being a scholarly scientist. What on earth? Now what? Oh boy. The floor is what? I'll take your word on it. Now we got a radiant meteorite. Is that safe? Don't we need some kind of like suits or something? So many questions, so little time. And of course, after a little discussion, we can finally go fly. Or can we? Space program jokes aside, it's another quest. Quest of fly through the three meteors, and collect their power. Doesn't this seem familiar somehow? But what about the meteor that landed on the other side? There it is! What's the tool? So, to Karnak's meteor we go. Another easy extraction, hopefully. Oh, lovely! It's time for us to become exterminators. And I guess that means you get to see three classes in action. The fourth one will be in action shortly. If we've ever find Goliath. I'm sure we will. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a game now, would it? Oh my! And as a boss, it's the Mighty Titan against the Alchemist Samurai and Lancer. So in the meantime, I could drink, but I don't want to get jumpy quite yet. I could throw my money, but that'd be silly. Why would you want to throw money at a titan? He is not a male stripper. Although he's pretty much naked. What I could do... is have a delicious drink. And be speedy. Although that does sharply increase Rena's speed, to tell the truth, not really worth it. But when she gets some more abilities later on, Alchemist will be awesome. Until then, you saw Magma demonstrating his sword catch. He just raises his arms in the air and catches whatever attack comes at him. Could have some shaken results. And I should have done a skin on old Titan there. But hey, we have medicine. Medicine should be pretty awesome. Speaking of awesome... 
is a potion. Potions are totally awesome. Not really. But far more importantly, the summon and the titan. Which will summon his titan. We'll show him off a little bit later. Yay! So let me go ahead and take care of that real quick here. And we can have a look at some abilities. Where is you, Titan? Where is you hiding? Oh, I don't have to use a nice an item. Thank goodness! But yes, I did do a little leveling off camera. And the first ability Magma learns as a samurai is a slap. Vulgarity is aside, is a small chance to petrify. Very small chance. I don't recommend using it. I'd rather have the two fanned ability from his mage job or uh night job. Rita Now has medicine. It's an innate ability to make potions and ethers twice as effective. Not really useful as a sub-ability, but all is well that ends well. And eventually Faros will have jump. Indeed. We'll mo worry more about that later. We got another meteor to go to. I'm out of my mind. I'm out of a lot of things, including my sanity. There's the walls, meteor. So land, you stupid. I was trying to land on the dragon. Shame on me! And I'll double check my abilities real quick. And well, fighting three with three characters just isn't as cool. Fighting with four. Hey there, mid. Hey there, Sid. They sure are taking a long time. Thank goodness! Oh god! Here we go again! Except this time against a bomb. Bombs? I got one! I got a bunch of them! This could be nasty. Also, I should have recovered. This could be dangerous. This could be explosive. This could have my game freezing up on me. Those bombs are up to something. I think all their turns passed. They are up to something. Hmm. They are up to something. and I can't target all of them with slow. This could be a problem. In the meantime, I will find a solution. It may involve something painful. It may involve slashing them. All right. That didn't sound good.
And I don't think I have the proper assortment classes right now. It could be critical. It could be explosive. Ouch. Meanwhile, hit points equal survivability. White magic equals something I have to do. This whole fight was a ticking time bomb. And the bombs agree. They were ticked off. This might need some aerial action. So if Forrest is off the screen, she can't get bombed. Oh my! Yep, you know what just happened. This is gonna involve my a heavy death. Or a very long battle. Unless I find some way to do a lot of damage all at once. Which a summoner would have been handy for. Let the palms float. Mm, this might take a little bit longer. I might just be better off pressing reset. I should have let him explode, shouldn't I? Yep. One moment, and I'll tell you whether I win or lose.